real quick sprints. Take the disc briskly, sunshine glints off my frisbee. Crisply knows how it goes with the sand between our toes. We got both of the pivots and all of the throws. Got to hold the disc and move it at the right time. When you flick your wrist and you're feeling sublime, compose your throws. Not discuss fluttery tricks from the brick and your biscuits buttery. Feel the spirit, stretch every sinew, stream in courage. Yeah, we continue. Take my hand, yeah, come with me. From the disc to the sand to the beach to the sea. There's magic in the air. All you have to do is catch it. EBUCC 2022. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the party in Portimao, EBUCC, the European Beach Ultimate Club Championships. It's been a long time since our previous edition in Castle de Fel, Spain. But the season continues here with some action on the beach here in the Algarve. Beginning in the mixed division, we have Jolly Rogers from Great Britain up against Element from Israel. And Element will stride towards the disc now. It's Benji Reese in the booth, delighted to be joined by Hannah Pendlebury, who seems very appropriately dressed for the weather. Well, you know, it's a beautiful, balmy morning here. Just a light breeze to keep things interesting as Element are going to put a big one up to the lads in the end zone. Chechik was the target, but a big high hand there from Conrad Wilson gets the disc back for the Jolly Rogers. Yeah, a nice look, but when Wilson's just hovering in the backspace, not the right move. Got both well, Wilson brothers on this team, both Conrad and Magnus, as Magnus cuts under. And the two of them look to combine there. Spectacular effort, but doesn't get there. So the second overthrow for Rogers. First a look to Pope in the end zone, and now a second opportunity for Element with the break. Have even initiates underneath. There's the continuation cut to Amar. Looking now into the backfield. Not enjoying what she's seeing there, though. Tight coverage just about squeezes that one off. Mixed division here played to the uh, quote unquote ABBA rule, ABBA. We're a big fan. I yep. still remember the days where it used to be uh, offense chooses. Or a gen zone. No, I, I must admit, I'm a uh, big fan of this current rule set. Nevitt fakes the flick. Looking, Wilson plants, comes underneath. Two Wilsons looking to combine maybe for the score, not on that occasion, but a little step back towards the break side and then planting, getting that tiniest bit of separation. And that was all they needed. 1-0 to the Jolly Rogers. Well, that is the advantage of Sand, exploited extremely well by the offence there. It's that ability to, obviously when you're on offence, you've got the advantage anyway, because you know where you're going to go, the defence doesn't. But that sort of, you know, strong step across, it really changes the way you have to play across the different surfaces. But I'm a big fan of beach. It's always very nice. You get lots more bids uh, and it's more forgiving of a surface. So you can really throw yourself around and create some highlight worthy plays. Yeah, it's our first time back here in Portimao since the European Beach Ultimate Championships back in May of 2019, three and a half years ago. Indeed. And if you told us at that point we'd be waiting so long to be back here, I think <laughs> we'd have all been very surprised as to why. But of course, it's such as okay. such as the way things happened. It's OK, Benji. Those are the times BC before COVID. Um, they were joyous and happy times and now we're in the, uh, you know, AC. A little dish off there to Tak and I. Osri popping that one down the line, trying to try and get this one now into the centre, but blading across towards the backside of the end zone. Love the spectacular effort, even if Osri couldn't get there. Yeah, lovely give go action. And that I don't think was intended for Osri. I think it was the, uh, the female matching player that was poached off a little bit on the soft side of the end zone. Nice expansive stuff from Element though. A good open, opening offensive play but the wind is certainly something that sides have to contend with on the beach. Hammer trying to access the space on the weak side of the field. Thomas, uh, did he get that first point of contact inbound? Matthew Thomas Donaldson. Sideline says it was good. I think this is the first time we've come with Thomas Donaldson since he got married. Congratulations, Matthew. And then that Andres Terre. Andres, that one, oh, and complete miscommunication. Joe Fisher had gone to go upfield, and the disc was right there, ready and waiting for him in the backfield. 
Yeah, not sure that was the execution that Andres was expecting. Sort of the look of, that. surely that's not for me. But she gets it, oh no, nearly gets it back. But a great grab under pressure. Smith Salzburg sticks the catch, getting it down the line, and then Ben Simon into the end zone for the score. Yeah, that was just lovely and really simple, Benji. I like that final bit. With beach, you don't necessarily need the same throwing windows that you need on grass. Just getting that extra step of separation can be all important. Well, I tell you what, the uh, <coughs> the catch under pressure from Bates Smith Salzburg that is uh, clutch scenes. I almost thought that was well. I say that I almost. I definitely thought that was going to be a D, but she uh, came up with the goods. on the replay just that little inside out seam definitely exploited and finding Bankira for the goal so that's one apiece offensive holds all round as this one is gonna land out of bounds so an early opportunity to bring the disc in from the brick lock just uh, just giving the disc a bit of a chance to cool off we've got some excellent sort of uh, pointy tent they're not quite teepees pointy tent action out here on the field to so keep players cool obviously we're still super early local time just about 9 a.m but it's gonna hot up benji i have been warned that it might do yes well you're donning our very fetching ulti tv sun hoodie as wilson looking deep for his brother and that one is a bang on the money. The first clean hold of the game goes the Jolly Rogers way, and it's 2-1. That was, uh, you know, sometimes we ironically say, oh, yeah, that was definitely how they drew it up. No, that was, I'm sure, exactly how they drew it up. Uh, to be honest, Benji, I'm pretty sure that was. It's not often you get to see Conrad and Magnus Wilson playing on the same line, of course, representing the same club team this season of Clapham Ultimate. Who could forget them? But uh, they're all split up here at this championships, including some saucy pickup action in the open division, Benji. But we'll, we'll let the fans we'll, wait to we'll, find we'll, out what that is. We'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Exactly. Yes, absolutely. This is one of the things that's nice about Beach is, uh, yeah, you do see those often rivalries. They seem to dissolve in teams. Uh, yeah, there's a bit more fluidity in rosters, I think. On serve at the moment. A few minutes into this game between Jolly Rogers and Element of Israel. Well, that's a nice hanging pull. Taknai faking the backhand and going to bomb that flick into the end zone. Can he chase it down in the back? Oh, that was precision for the score. That also was a masterclass in how to just cut with absolute conviction. There was attempt, an attempt to sort of, you know, do a bit of a switchy type of thing at the back of the sort of defense, but Burton just got absolutely rinsed. And you see it on the replay there, just commits to it hard and early. The disc goes up. The only question is whether he can got the speed to chase it down in bounds, and Osri certainly does. So yeah. two slightly sloppy holds to start the game and then ice call offense in the last two points like a knife through butter benji get a very good view here from on top of our shipping container indeed although it's definitely breezier than it is at the bottom of the field we're sort of like in line with how the disc feels at the top of a huck which I have to say, as, as we don't spend this much time at this height, Benji, but it really does make a difference. I mean, I especially do not. Here's Hamer coming underneath the lefty. Fakes to Nevitt. Now Hutchison in the backfield, swinging around to Wilson. Fresh off his silver European medal. On grass. Hamer squeezing that one down the sideline. Too far out in front for treble. Jolly Rogers, I believe, a summer league team initially, Benji. I, I, I think that's right. I feel like I've played against them at Summer League and struggled. Not that that's a surprise to, for anyone who's seen me play, I guess. When was the last time you played Summer League? No, 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 no. Uh, at least three years ago, probably. Of course, Summer League, for those of you who are not uh, UK Ultimate veterans, such as ourselves, is a uh, excellent sort of, you know, 
rec league type format where teams can enter to play against each other in the summertime in the city of London. It often features many cocktails on the sideline, which I'm a big fan of. Here's a deep shot. I think Wilson is going to win that battle by using his size downfield. Chechik was the target. Not the first time we've seen Wilson get the D on that matchup. Here's Treble putting this one out into space for Hamer. I think she was thinking about the inside out backhand there. Instead, Hutchison plants, comes underneath. They've got Never isolated in the end zone. Said the reset is to Conrad Wilson. This one, ooh, really fired that inside flick through and way too much gas for Hutchison to get to. Yeah, there have been a fair few throwing errors sort of unforced on this game so far. I think it's just a case of both teams adapting to the conditions, to the experience of being here. The sun is quite blinding. Most of the players actually are like on the sidelines, have their hands on their heads to try and sort of, you know, provide a bit of shade. Of course, both of ourselves wearing our very fetching Ulti TV caps up here on our perch, Benji. We are indeed, and uh Huge shout out to, to Four Sportswear who provided us with uh, with all our gear. And I must say, it's proved very popular, not just with the crew, but elsewhere as well. And you can, if you want to, help support Ulti TV by buying your Ulti TV t-shirts. And they are so fetch. And that we have them in more colours now. It's, it's, it's getting very exciting. Stop trying to make fetch happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. But can Element put this one in? A little high-release backhand floated into the centre for Haviv. They've had a fair few chances, have the D-line here for Element. As yet, unable to put any of them in. A little pop-off, nice quick disc movement that can be so lethal on beach. And that one tried to be fired through, Hutchison blocked it. But if you don't catch your Ds, there's always the chance that can happen. Haviv alert to the second opportunity and now striking deep. That time off three boxes Wilson out and the first break of the game goes to Element. They lead 3-2. And absolutely well deserved. What a huge save. That was insane from Talos Reed. I love how heads up you are there. Indeed, she has had a triple espresso this morning, clearly. But lovely stuff. And at long last, a, uh, a deep shot comes off for Element. They've had a couple that have been swiped away by the long arms of the Brits. Yeah, uh, on offense, they got it on the O-line, I should say. They've got that working well. Not quite so well on the D-line, but eventually they managed to get the uh, get that measurement, that judgment correct. You can see also on the replay. Uh, the, sun's still, the sun's pretty low here, actually, still, this early in the morning. So it is causing a problem. You can see it kind of glistening on the... Uh, on the bay, the marina behind the arena pitch. It's gorgeous though. This is one of the best places I'd say to play beach to beach ultimate in all of Europe. It's um if you go behind the cliffs, it's a little bit uh tourist city. I think our cab driver yesterday refers to the big block of hotels because the old town of Portimao is actually quite far away from the beach. We are of course in Praia de Roche, which is really beautiful conditions. But uh, our cab driver refers to it as the as the wall of tourists. Yeah, I must admit, I was I was caught a little off guard by quite how busy our flight out here was, just because I thought, hey, it's Portugal, it's October. How many people, oh yes, it was busy. Well, Here's Pope trying to navigate against the zone here. Finds Douglas, Douglas putting a bit of air underneath it. Fisher, I think, is the target, and boxes out well. Continuation into the end zone. No, just dishing off back to Pope. Moss has found himself in plenty of space. Can they get the force in? Jinking jiving this way, that. Moss still looking for the option. Resets back to Pope. Pope with a lead pass. Oh, it's a little bit behind. And to the turf. Well, sand. After being so patient with the disc, that was a shame to see it all thrown away. That's a big shot, though. Fisher tries to. Can't make it happen. Wanting to strike while the iron is hot. Aiming for a two-break lead here. Thought there was the option down the break side. They don't want to use it just yet, though. Lieber VC into the center of the end zone, where Itai Chechik is wide open, and another element break for 4-2. Something that really impressed me on that point actually was the intelligence of some of the defense when Jolly Rogers were looking at the end zone. So there was a really nice flash off from Inval Habib, sort of, you know, just clustering the space. To
the sort of you know valuable target of the end zone away, let sort of you know the dump happen, and eventually Rogers just finding themselves a bit frustrated. Yeah, I think they had opportunities that maybe they were a, a little bit reticent to force, I guess. But a well earned second break for Elements. And in, in these shorter games on the beach, you uh you can't necessarily afford to let your opponent get too far out in front. Indeed not. How long are these games, Benji? Good question. My head says 40 minutes. And what would it normally be on grass? About a uh, championship plays, usually to 100 minutes. Uh, games to 13 rather than 15. Uh, so you don't necessarily see it that often, but it does happen. The game's coming out thick and fast. Uh, they're at quarter, they start at quarter to the hour every hour, so uh, yeah, certainly in no mood to hang about. Hutchison taking the reset to Conrad Wilson. Now back to Hutchison. Never plants to take off deep. Hutchison puts just enough air underneath it to take it round the defender, and Nevit milks it into the end zone for the score. I said it in Gaole. I am fast becoming, and it, it distresses me a little bit, Benji. I'm becoming a big fan girl of Marius Hutchison and watching him throw discs. Now, one of the things that we haven't mentioned is how difficult it is on sand to adjust your throws. We've seen a lot of overthrows early stages of this game, but it's the pacing, the understanding how fast your teammates can be on sand, which is a completely different surface, of course, because it's not about pushing off the ground like it is on any other sort of surface you run on. It's all about driving up the knees because the sand's going to take any energy you put at it and say, thank you very much. You can have none of that back as kinetic energy. Thanks. So the timing and the flow and the, just the pacing on that disc was absolutely on the money. And the it's just a beautiful thing to watch. The best advice I ever got for running on sand was don't touch the sand, <laughs> which sounds really <laughs> counterintuitive. But the idea is obviously, you know, it, it does sap your energy. It does, you know, it does slow you down. So you want to try and quite be quite light on your feet, as you mentioned, get those high knees driving off rather than really sink into it, dig those feet in. It's like when they talk about ground contact of elite sp sprinters, but of course the Russian beach teams that have uh, appeared and also in this uh, 2019 format two years ago, no, three years ago, can I do maths? No. Uh, they've been taught to move on sand by the uh, World Beach Soccer Coach. And that one lead pass into the end zone had to lay out, but on beach you're certainly happy to do that, especially when it results in the score. Absolutely throwing herself into the dunes and well deservedly so and i like the celebration that elements have the uh, the excitement for this early stages game it's excited but not over the top i think Welcome everyone to EBUCC during this first game in progress here in Portimao on the south coast of Portugal in the Iberian Peninsula. It's Benji Reese and Hannah Pendlebury. Delighted to be back on the sand, well, on the shipping container on the sand, I guess, uh, for counts. EBUCC, the European Beach Ultimate Club Championships. Jolly Rogers against Element in the mixed division is our first game of the day. And you're just seeing a replay of that last score with Jolly Rogers making it 5-4 through that cheeky little inside break. Yeah, managing to squeak one through to Rogers, but trailing those two breaks to Element of Israel, who've been looking very feisty indeed on defense. We saw some settling into both into the uh, into the game for both these sides as I settle into the shape of my teeth. Yeah, certainly both sides had probably more errors than they would have liked early. But Elman were tr able to iron out those kicks a little bit before their English opponents. Blum finds Osri on this near sideline. Surveying his options, just resetting around the backfield. You get that one, maybe two steps of separation. That's often all you need. Ben Simon throws right into the poach of Hutchison. 
Yeah, doing a really good sh job of shutting down Austria, who's been a central part of this element offense. Here's Nevert looking for an option downfield. That one's a little bit low and too far out in front for Katie Morse. This goes back to the Israelis. Nice plant cut underneath there. Smith Salzburg finds Ossery. Wanted that high release backhand into the middle, but instead goes into the backfield and utilizing that break side space superbly into Bale Smith Salzburg for the 6 4 lead. Yeah, Smith Salzburg continuing to impress out here in this game. Just taking the mark for a complete walk. I also really enjoyed the, uh, the use of sort of the slight inside shots. There have been really tight coverage from the bodies of the Jolly Rogers defense. But actually some of the displacement sort of on that inside shoulder where the defense has been really aggressive to take away the open channel, just allowing them to use their bodies to kind of, you know, retain the disc and retain possession with some quite nice, easy passes. But it's a good, it's all about that disc placement. If you put it on the wrong side, that's going to be taken away. So as well as, you know, keeping an eye on OTTV's YouTube channel for all the games streamed live and free of charge, and you can also watch them back for free there as well. You can also keep an eye on what's going on in the tournament as a whole uh, using the live webpage, which is live.ebucc.eu. And we have our hard-working scorekeeping volunteers as I uh, took a rather brisk jog to our arena field here. I enjoyed many, uh, many good scenes of the yellow-shirted individuals setting up their scoreboards. And of course, these tournaments would not happen if it weren't for all of our wonderful staff and volunteers. So thank you, everybody, for making it happen here in Portimao. As we see a lovely layout D. Pope trapped on the sideline, trying to squeeze that one through to Magnus Wilson. But trying a little bit of a, a different tactic defensively. It pays off for Element. Now they're wanting to blade it to the back of the end zone. And Chechik catches for 7-4. Well, after the opportunity seized by Ida Cohen, it's another break for Element. And look at that celebration dance. Lots of swagger. If you can't enjoy yourself out here, then where can you enjoy yourself? To be honest, Benji, I think that's probably the most true thing you've said in a long while. Hey! <laughs> no, not saying that you say untrue things regularly, Benji. I'm just saying that one. Is, that one is, was a nugget. Exceptionally true. The sun is shining. There's a bit of a, as we mentioned, there is a bit of a breeze. It's what well, I'm going to con consider a thrower's wind. Nothing too fierce, too strong, but it does make you think about those throws for an extra second. Yeah, for beach, this is definitely a thrower's wind. I think if we were on grass, people would be a bit kind of like, oh, it's getting a little bit gusty because it is that swirly, changeable condition. But when you're this close to the sea, and my, what a beautiful sea it is, you just can't get away from it. But as to sea or well, coastal dwellers ourselves, Benji, we know that for a fact. This is very true, and I must admit, compared to as much as I love Stokes Bay, I think the Pride of Russia probably has it beat. Oh, 100%. Just got the expanse of the Atlantic Ocean out to our right-hand side. We're going to take a little bit of a breather here in the booth. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with you very shortly. We are Hive Ultimate, a group of players and coaches from all over the world working together to progress the next generation of Ultimate Strategy. We've helped top teams win world championships and new teams introduce the sport in a fun and inclusive way. Search for Hive Ultimate on YouTube to learn more about our cutting edge strategies and to see analysis of world class teams. To find out what Hive can do for your team, head over to our Patreon page where you can gain access to our exclusive drills and session plans and to join our worldwide community of coaches. Get ahead of the curve with Hive Ultimate. Welcome back to EBUCC, the European Beach Ultimate Club Championships. Mixed division action here for you. First game of the weekend for us here on the stream. Jolly Rogers from the UK up against Element of Israel. And the Israelis taking a 7-4 lead into the half and receiving to begin the second half as well. So they've put themselves in a very advantageous position here, Hannah. Enviable, some might say, Benji. It's uh, really been a case of, I think, 
just Element taking the opportunities in the late stages of the first half on offense. They were both sides are generating turns, early doors, but they've just really cleaned it up when they have the frisbee. They've been so much more clinical, I think, than their opponents. They've hit those inside shots when they've opened up nice and early, tried to get the disc out of high stall counts when they can. That went into the end zone just a little bit behind. There was potentially space there if it was thrown to the outside shoulder of Talos 3, but coming on the other side, trying to crane back to get it. Well, it's a space they've been favoring when they've been coming under is that soft inside shoulder to try and keep it away from the swiping arms of the defense. But uh, yeah, come on, coming unstuck a little bit on that one. Can Rogers make any good use of it though? Hamer puts that one out in front for Douglas. Douglas, again looking deep. Moss is the target this time. But Eshel Taknai had position. Osri. Resetting, putting a little bit of air underneath it, not a problem. Into the backfield now. And looking for the around break, and it was rolling off the fingertips there of Bale Smith Salzburg. Yeah, not sure Smith Salzburg was really looking for that one. She did make a good effort, although it would have been good to see her. I think if she'd exploded off and just pushed off the ground for that little bit of extra energy, that probably would have come down in her hand. Douglas clearing it out deep. Andres slashes over from the near side of the field. Instead, just popping that one across to Moss. Moss looking for that upline cut. Wilson has to get on his bike, does so. Thinks about the deep shot, but not on this occasion. Moss, lovely little inside through there, opening up the far side of the field to Andres. Now Hamer, he's got Wilson poached, takes that option. And there's a foul, I think, on the mark. I'm just going to get everyone back into position downfield. Check back in. Moss comes through. One throw could get it done here. But look how tight the coverage is. And again, using that inside channel well. Andreas around the break side to Douglas. That's the first break of the game for Jolly Rogers. And they break on the first point of the second half, 7-5. And by God, they needed that. Yeah, puts a little bit of air back in the tank for Jolly Rogers. Not the most length of game left to do it. Just about 15 minutes to snag back those further two breaks they trail. Yeah, with Beach, with the smaller fields as well and the shorter game times, you tend to spend less time, uh, how can I put this eloquently, faffing between points. <laughs> so the game is played at a faster pace and if you're kind of, you're, you're not on top of it, all of a sudden the game, the game can be lost and the game can be over before you kind of realise it. But Rogers there looking like a much more reserved outfit on offense. There was, well, I'm not going to say people were jogging around the uh, pitch, Benji, but certainly a bit more chilled out, which I think worked out well for them. It made things clearer and a bit cleaner. It's about conservation of energy, I think, a little bit on beach. You heard the phrase, work smarter, not harder. I certainly have. Especially on beach, I think that is true. You can look for those opportunities where you don't have to make the big expansive fakes, where you know you can you can pass off to, you can pass off matchups if you're defending. Just try and do as much as you can to really make yourself do as little as possible. Here's a deep shot. It's going to be in stride again from Osri after they misfired on those early in the game. They've really found their range here. As you say, especially when they're coming out on offense, and that is good for the goal. Just getting that quick backhand break out to Bloom. Gave Wilson no play. And 8 5 elements still very much in control here, you, you probably think. 
I think when they're firing on all cylinders, Element are just edging, looking the better outfit in this game. But uh, we'll see if, what, what Rogers can do to try and disrupt that and bring some magic of their own. The uh, heat is starting to build already. I don't know if you can feel it, Benji, but yeah, I've got my legs out. Very much so, yeah. I mean, I can feel the heat, not I can feel you having your legs out. <laughs> Although I wonder what that weird glistening reflection was coming from, and it's the pale, pale legs. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll pick up a tan this week. No, Factor 50 all day, every day. It's no joke. Pope here. Button. Put some air underneath it. Looking for the big man downfield. But Thomas calling the foul here. Well, if you observe the height mismatch, it's a difficult one to go over the top of Thomas when you're sort of, you know, a, a solid head and perhaps a, a few centimetres of shoulder shorter. But a great defensive effort from Chechnik. He yeah, goes up very early for that one. And uh, contested <laughs> foul, so this is going to go back here. Of course, something we haven't mentioned, Benji, is speaking of the uh, the colour of things, such as my white white legs, is the uh, colour of the frisbee. Yeah, that that fluorescent pink sews up better, according to all the testing on the uh, on the white sand. That one is very ambitious, too ambitious. And it will go out on the far sideline. Well, trying to hit a very free Anna Treble on the far sideline, but uh, yep, not the execution Burton drew up in his mind. So another break opportunity for Element. That one does never get to the target. And Burton picks it up quickly. Wilson tries to read it over his head and does so before the diving defender has a chance to make the play. And it is 8-6. Well, Wilson is the sort of individual very capable of reading a disc under massive duress. There was a absolutely picturesque grab from the finals in the Open Division at EUCF. But a few weeks ago, a previous in Gaole, which uh, again, freely available to view in the archives of Ulti TV on, Ulti, on YouTube. And if you want to help keep Ultimate coverage free, what do you have to do, Benji? Well, one of the first things you can do while you're here on YouTube is you can like, subscribe. There's a little bell button you can ring for notifications to find out every time we go live. YouTube now has the sticker and super chat features, so you can donate directly in YouTube. Or you can become a member of our Patreon page and for the cost of as little as a luminous pink frisbee a month or actually even less you can uh, help support the growth of free live ultimate we do love our patrons and are coming up with more and more ways to show how much we appreciate and value their support so if you want to be in on the inner circle of ultimate media happenings you know exactly what to do and if you, do, if you can't remember, just scroll back on YouTube, a couple of jumps, and uh, you can listen to Benji tell you all over again. Just be, be in the winner's circle, maybe. Eyes emoji. This one is another deep shot, and again, Osri gets behind the Jolly Rogers defence. I've not been able to find an answer for that. And the hand block there from Hutchison or not. You can see sort of almost the pain with which he calls the foul. Just like, oh, um, yeah, I really think that was. Taking the reset, got a size mismatch on the mark here, but expertly finds that little inside crease. Wilson looking to poach into the end zone. There is the free reset and eventually they will take it. Ben Simon. Continuing round to the break side, and easy footwork there from Tower Osri. 6-9, nicely done. You mentioned it in that point, Benji, at the moment, 
Johnny Rogers do not have an answer for Tal Osri. It's currently all over the stats board, really. You know, if we had yardage stats, I think he'd be leading the charge by a country mile. But... Uh, As opposed to a city mile. Oh, absolutely. Well, you know the phrase. But... Uh, yes, I do. But it's only now that it struck me how weird it is. <laughs> it is bizarre. <laughs> Welcome to British English. Um, but I really enjoyed the sort of change up of the look of the defense for Jolly Rogers, you know, trying to sort of you know, put the male matching players out amongst the handlers, you know. And Hutchison got the look at the hand block, got called back for the foul in the end. But, you know, that's what you've got to go do, try and create opportunities by doing different things. But at the moment, it's currently Element on cruise. Looking mighty fine. So the pull from Element is going to land out of bounds and will give Comrade Wilson the chance to bring it to the brick mark. Three female matching players for each side at this point, two male matching players. It's a, lot, it's a lot easier to count five aside than it is seven aside, so it's easy to see who's on for each team. Oh, but of course, Benji, you just have to check out the hand signals at the beginning of every point. You do indeed, that is very true. Moss just popping that one back to Comrade Wilson here. And Wilson's putting air underneath it, looking for Moss. I thought he was going to have to lay out, but the disc is weighted superbly. And in the end, all he has to do is hustle into the end zone for the score. Lovely little bit of inside out shape on that one from Comrade Wilson. Well, I gave a lot of credit to the disc of Marius Hutchison earlier in the game, but Wilson, my goodness, the like the release on that, so softly on the inside of his body. It's like he's been doing it since birth. Yeah, the force just a little bit off, and it gives Wilson really time to measure that one. It's really tricky as well, because you want to get tight on the force and get that pressure on, but also, especially when it's so difficult to get your momentum going on sand, I think you're a little bit worried that if you get too close, you leave yourself susceptible to those throw and go moves. Well, there's a lot of support on the stream for Jolly Rogers and Element. But obviously Rogers are the ones that need the little extra something something. So they're gonna come out on top of this one. At the moment, just trying to keep things compressed here for Jolly Rogers defense. That one downfield will bobbled. Good focus on the reception from Smith Salzburg going towards the break side and again. It's that man Tal Osri for the score. Unstoppable Osri. Well, unstoppable Smith Salzburg, to be honest. You could see the look on her face, the pure concentration as she recaught that one right in front of our commentary perch. I'm really impressed, actually, with the female matching players for Element. They've been creating some brilliant opportunities. It's easy to talk about the big shots going over the top to Osri, but really putting in a shift. Sixty-one teams representing across the three divisions here at the European Beach Ultimate Club Championships. You might have missed this earlier when we mentioned it, but it's the first uh, first edition of this tournament since 2018, uh, which ended with a finals day that I will personally never forget. Uh, there are 23 teams in the mixed division, three pools of six and one of five. Magnus Wilson. Got to play a wide open as the dump eventually goes to his brother there, Conrad. Hutchison on the sideline, puts air underneath it. He's looking for Magnus Wilson, who reads it well, but he's got zero support. Everyone just seemed like they were watching the disc. Well, that is exploiting the very tall gentleman. Cheeky break around, and the Wilson brothers combine. Conrad to Magnus makes it 8 to 10.
So with the increase in popularity of Ultimate Benji, if we end up seeing formats that are Ultimate 2s in the future, if we had Ultimate 2s on beach, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Conrad, to, Conrad and Magnus Wilson? I mean, I think you'd be hard pressed to uh, to beat them, certainly. Well, they're, they're built for beach. Look at the kind of just the, the physicality of the two athletes. The, the, the kind of the long limber frame. Is that the leverage that they can generate? And you're talking about not touching the sand. The longer your gait, the fewer steps you have to take. There's big long strides. Less touching of sand. I'm, I'm here for it. Lovely pull. The pull that rolls just out the back of the end zone. So Element bring it to the front. Trying to utilize quick disc movement again. But Johnny Rogers that time able to shut down the first options. Os3 on the sideline. Centering pass. Taknai to the near sideline. Here's Blum. Really enjoying the unselfish way with which Element are playing. Smith Salzburg was quite poached off on the soft side, on the break side of the field. But uh, as she came under alongside Blum, she actually pointed to her teammate saying, no, nope, no, nope, pick, pick that, that's a better cut. I like that one better. They want the disc moved quicker through those poached players. And that one, a miscommunication in the backfield, will give Jolly Rogers a chance to bring the score within one. Well, we said they need to find something a bit magical to bring themselves back into this game, and Rogers have. Hamer with the deep look, and Moss with the layout grab to break and make it 10-9. I think he has sacrificed himself on the altar of greatness there. Moss doesn't seem to be getting back up quickly. Sort of a bit of a pained roll there. And the injury is going to be called. Yeah, I think you can tell actually that the sand in that far end zone, as we're looking at it, is has not been churned up anywhere near as much as the sand elsewhere. And so sometimes when you when you land, you do uh, yeah, you knock the stuffing out of yourself, getting on that solar plexus and just kind of starving yourself of air. Well, hopefully Moss will be okay. So just, yeah, see so him just. Popping up out the sand there, so everybody can breathe a sigh of relief. I think he just perhaps badly winded himself when he made contact with the ground. But hey, what a way to not get sand stripped and retain possession of the disc for the goal. So it looks like we've got a timeout here. Whether official or just in prop sneaky impromptu one well i think with the uh, the injury call they took just a little bit of a chill time just to allow moss the time to recompose yeah not a surprise to see that he's uh that he's not out there at the moment of course one of two moss playing look, moss frisbee playing brothers other twin Andy both of them cause much confusion in the UK ultimate scene for those that don't know them well but uh, it's easy to tell the two apart as Nick has heterochromia so it's two slightly different coloured eyes he does indeed but in fact it was uh, his other his brother Andy that started his ultimate playing career in a beach town playing in uh, Bournemouth, Bournemouth. I also found out that Andy's colorblind, which none of his teammates knew until they had a red or green matchup, and then they worked out it was a problem. This one is a deep look. That is going to be too far out in front. Nevitt was putting some good pressure on it. Absolutely. Great run down by Nevitt to just slam the door shut. Rogers could bring us level here. Now that would be exciting. Comrade Wilson picks up, his brother plants, goes deep and uh, instead comes underneath and I think maybe going for the flip block there and actually just getting a piece of the arm there was Tal Osteri. 
Uncontested foul, you can see the hand signals there. So with this, of course, being the first game of this championship, it's all about if you can nab that top spot in your pool and advance with a bye into the bracket. Seeds two and three will, of course, be in pre-quarters. But if you end up in the bottom three spots of this four pool, four, four pool format, you are not going to be going home with some bling. Hope is the target for the deep look, and I think she got a hand to it, but could only pop it up and out of her own reach. Clearly needs to play more Mac line. It's difficult to catch that because you're looking slightly into the sun as well when the disc is on that far side of the field. The underneath to Osri. Put some air underneath this one. Well reeled in. Choosing to take the reset here. Element playing it around the back at the moment. Yes. Attack now, looking for options. Sort of needs someone attacking the space downfield. You see Nevitt get another defensive look with a hand block that time. Yeah, Birrenbaum didn't have a huge amount of separation. And Nevitt was putting some more pressure on. This time, Conrad shooting deep immediately for Magnus Wilson. And the two of them link up. Goal signaled, 10 apiece. And I think this is universe. Well, having started on offense, Jolly Rogers have had to really grind back in this second half. And my goodness, Benji, have they? Yeah, confirmed that it is game to 11. So sudden death. Universe point, next goal wins. And for our first game of the day. Not a bad start to the day, is it? Absolutely, and first game of the tournament. This is uh, an exciting match. But we know we, we, we try and choose the best matchups here for you we on don't, this we, live stream. We don't always get it right, just, just mostly. <laughs> But of course, this is seed A1 in the mixed division versus A5. So this coming down to the absolute wire, Benji, just shows how hot the division is here in Portimao. Into the women's division with our next game, by the way. That'll be Valkyria of Sweden versus LFO from right here in Portugal. Well, we'll find out, have to find out if there's a home sand advantage. But with that pull coming out of bounds so early, this is a real opportunity for Element to close the door. Put their first win on the board. Of course, they are the fifth seed in this pool. Rogers' second seed, so this would be a huge scalp for them. Yeah, bottom taking the win over the top. This one blading it, all oh, that blades way too early out of the hand from Ben Simon. And Wilson was waiting for it, cheeky little push pass there from Hutchison. Well, it's all about, about that heads up D for Element and the sort of arm goes flying to try and prevent the pass. Can they get the disc back? I didn't mind the look necessarily from Element, just the execution wasn't there. Hutchison, the lefty with the big throws downfield to Conrad Wilson. And they will break for the victory. Oh, well, commiserations to Element. They played so well, but at the end, Jolly Rogers were able to put it together and show their true class. Yeah, it just took them a little bit longer than they would have liked to get going with good mental fortitude, especially in the in the tight, close, short games, to be able to come back and nick the win. Big difference maker, I think, Benji, was them starting to just use their A game a bit more, being perhaps, you know, a little bit curtailed with how they were stuck trying to play their offense when they got the disc, using the height mismatches. You can't blame them. I'm not mad about it, not even slightly. When you've got players like the Wilson brothers, you've got to use those to good effect. But Osri, so dominant for Element. Look out for him later on in the tournament. Smith Salzburg, and of course, my, uh, well, who's your player of the match, Benji? Good question. Probably 
Smith Salzburg or Ossery, I think, for Element. They, I th uh, not really knowing a huge amount about them coming in, they were hugely impressive for me. Well, absolutely. But of course, in Aviv, who had some incredible recovery receptions as well, deserves an honourable mention. But that's going to wrap that one up. First one in the books. And what a game. As we mentioned, off to the women's division now. We're going to take a little bit of a, of a breather. So chance to get some water on. Maybe we'll crack open a cocktail or five. Really get into the beach atmosphere. And we'll see you on the other side.